Hi guys, it's Gary again, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I monitor temperatures in the greenhouse. Uh, I, obviously here in Michigan, at all times of the day, I need to know what the temperature is inside the greenhouse, because if it gets too low, experiment over. So, I have a number of different thermometers, and one of the thermometers I have down near the ground right now on the south side of the greenhouse, and it's on the floor because it measures carbon monoxide levels. And any time I'm in the greenhouse, I do that because I still have another vented heater in here. I have another uh, vented heater on order that will be coming within a week or so, and then I won't have to worry about that anymore. I also have a circular thermometer on the um, <clears throat> wall back here on the east side of the greenhouse. And I also have a thermometer that's on the floor here that is a soil thermometer, and that is right around the root system, so I know what the root temperature is around the tree. In addition to that, I have another soil thermometer on the north side of the greenhouse, inside, that tells me what the temperature is there. Which, because this tree is inside of an insulated box, the temperature should be higher. And then finally, I have a soil temperature outdoors in the soil, and I measure the temperature at two inches so that it's standard among all of the um, thermometers. And I calibrated all of them before I put them in the ground to make sure that they're all measuring the same temperature. So, uh, and if you don't know how to calibrate, you, you uh, put them in a known temperature of water, and you could use another thermometer to check that out. And then you can use an adjustment on the thermometer to make sure all of them are reading the same thing. And uh, the thermometer outside tells me what the, the soil temperature is, and that just gives me an idea of the differences and how successful my idea was here in this greenhouse. I also have a thermometer that has Wi-Fi. This is the sensor here, and this particular one costs about $30 or so, and it will uh, send the Wi-Fi out to about 165 feet. I keep the receiver in the house, usually in the bathroom, and I monitor those temperatures all day. Oh, by the way, you're probably wondering why I have this beard. Uh, a number of uh, videos ago, I had a comment, and somebody said they really like my video, but I might want to consider going to the gym. Well, uh, I had gotten up to 248 pounds, which is a little bit too much for me. I'm about 5'10", and I had gotten down to 225 when this person made the comment. Uh, since that time, I've gotten down to 211, and uh, also, I'm doing it for health also, but when this beard is gone, you will know that I'm down below uh, 100, no, 200 pounds. So 199, that's when the beard goes. If I start to look like the Taliban, you'll know that I'm not doing very well. But anyway, it's just something fun, and I also want to see how much grape was in my beard. Uh, so, and, you know, anyway, getting back to what we were talking about. So I can monitor the temperatures at all times. I also have a thermometer on my um, kerosene heater and that has a thermostat on it so that it automatically comes up when I need to add heat. But that will be taken out as soon as I get my propane heater installed. Um, let's see, is there anything else? That's based, oh, there was one other thing. Uh, I also have the ability to monitor, monitor the temperature of the air coming in from the geothermal system. And uh, I just took a measurement a few minutes ago and you can see here uh, what that measurement is. And that is obviously higher than the air temperature because the air temperature is around 30 something degrees and we're pulling uh, uh, over 50 degrees from the ground which is helping to heat the greenhouse. Right now with the sun shining, uh, the only thing that's heating the greenhouse is the solar uh, gain and the geothermal which is kind of nice because it's a lot less expensive. So that's what's going on with uh, temperature monitoring and I will be back with another video soon. Have a good day and thank you for watching.